Hello everyone, my name is Daniel, I'm just a casual sim racer, and today I'm giving an early access look at three different mods. They're vintage racing mods for Assetto Corsa. One is being developed by Sergio Loro, and the other two are through Historic Sim Studios, which is a company that I actually lead and own. And so right now I'm driving the Bugatti T59. I'm going to take this warm-up lap and then go into a qualifying lap. In real life, it's a four-lap run to, for the Indy 500 qualification, but I'm just going to do one lap. And if Indy 500 qualifications was one lap, in 1934, the pole time would have been a 1 minute and 15 seconds. And now that is a bit unfair because back then the fuel mileage that year was very strict during both qualifying and the race. Three gallons for the four lap qualifying, 45 gallons for the race. So not totally fair, but who cares? I'm just going to go for the pole, see what would happen, and have some fun doing it. Showing off this beautiful rendition of a 1930s Indianapolis Motor Speedway that is being developed by Sergio Loro. I'll link his page, where once this is finished, it will be posted on his website. And it's just something that's fantastic. I always love his tracks. And a vintage Indianapolis is something that we badly need in racing. And so this is a 1930s version. I've also heard he'll be developing a 1960s version as well. Or at least that's in the rumor mill. Taking the corner here. Hugging the line. This car drives so good. It's, it is not, how would I put it, the best handling car. It isn't the fastest car. It's going to get, you know, molly walked by a lot of 1930s Grand Prix cars. But there's something about it, you know, a stiff, old-fashioned, out-of-date suspension for the era. You know, combined with a pretty powerful, torquey engine. It just it spins up the wheels all the time if you're not careful on the throttle. And it really is just a handful in a good way, if that makes sense. So coming down to the corner, and we're going to take this the best we can. Getting off the gas and taking it, hugging the inside, carrying some speed, drifting towards the wall. Power, pedal all the way to the floor, power to the... Roaring out of the drivetrain. Trying to dial up a good lap here for you all. Yeah, just fabulous. And this track detail, look, the pergola from back then has been multiple variations. I believe this was the second version of the pergola. Sergio's done a great job of recreating that. And so this is just fantastic track. The track side detail looks great. And this car has actually been a lot of fun. I've taken quite a few hot laps around this track. And once I get some AI, I'll definitely post some videos. And so this is an external view. This is the Duesenberg, an external view of the 1916 Duesenberg taking laps around the same 1930s Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So just a quick highlight there. And now we turn to, this is the a track. This is... Speedway Park, Chicago, and this is a board track from 1916 season, had a short lifespan, but it was part of the first Indy, Indy car essentially season, which um, Historic Sim Studios is going to be calling the 1916 American Champions Mod Pack. I assume they're going to have, or we're going to have more American Champions packs coming out for different years in the future. And this is the board track, and I'm driving the Duesenberg from 1916 as well, and there's going to be, of course, Speedway Park in Chicago, board track, there's going to be the Sheep's Head Bay board track in Brooklyn, New York, and then there, of course, there's going to be a 1916 version of Indiana Speedway, which I'm sure we can all figure out what that track is supposed to represent in real life. And in terms of cars, there's going to be four cars, including this 1916 Duesenberg that I'm driving here. It's just going to be an awesome mod pack. So thank you for stopping by and checking out this early access video. I hope you all have a great rest of your week.